the best is yet to come with Kirby Joseph. So today's video, we're going to talk about Kirby Joseph and how the best yet, how the best part of his game is yet to come. So Kirby Joseph, he has played in all 17 games. He has 14 starts under his belt. He had 82 tackles, four interceptions, eight pass deflects, two forced fumbles, and one fumble recovery. Now, the four interceptions was actually tied for third most in the NFL a season ago. Now, if you follow Kirby Joseph on Twitter, you already know your boy, he always interacts with me. He always interacts with the fan base. He's awesome. I, sw I swear, man. If you got Twitter, definitely go fo follow Kirby Joseph. Dude is a beast uh, on and off the field. And, uh, you know, it really, really, like, you see the superstardom of Kirby Joseph. Like, when you flip on that tape, this is going to be one guy that you're like, oh, there's Kirby Joseph. <laughs> because he just, he's he's where he's supposed to be at. And now with the whole year of, okay, hey, I've been through training camp. I've been through this. I've been through that. This is now a full off season where I don't have to focus on the draft process, you know, uh, the, the NFL combine, the draft, things of that nature. I can, hey, the season's done. I go to work, get better at my craft. Things of that nature where he can actually focus on that more so than his, you know, where is he, he's going to play at. That right there in itself, he's going to be ahead of the game. And that's why you see a lot of players take that second year leap. Now, Kirby Joseph, I want to, man, <laughs> see, I don't want to tell y'all something and, and it'd be wrong, but... My fandom really it oozes out of me. So, you know what? This is a fan channel, and I'm talking to more fans of the Detroit Lions. So, you know what? I'm gonna say it. Kirby Joseph is gonna be first, uh, first team All NFL on defense. I mean, dude's gonna be a beast. I mean, he picked off Aaron Rodgers three times. He should have had seven interceptions or more. I mean. <sighs> You whatever you ask of Kirby Joseph, that man gives you, and he does that at a high level. He's not a guy that's gonna sit there and complain. Oh, I'm not getting the looks. Oh, I'm not in this, or I'm not doing that. I'm not, you know, intercepting uh, as much as I would like. No, he just, hey, I'm gonna intercept what I can. I'm gonna do what I can. If I can't make the pa uh, the interception, I'm gonna deflect the pass, or I'm gonna force a fumble, or I'm gonna recover a fumble, or I'm going to be in position where, hey, he, he, my receiver is not going to get the ball. Or, you know, the running back is not going to get past me. Or the receiver is not going to get past me. He does the little things that matter. And when you have a player like Kirby Joseph, you better lock him up for, for his entire career because you don't want to let a guy like that out of your team facilities. Lock him up for many, many years and don't look back because Kirby Joseph is just that guy. And, you know, you just want to see him succeed. Like, he's one of those guys that you just look at him and you just really want to see that man succeed. You know, whether it's on the field or off the field, you just want that man to succeed. And that's exactly what Kirby Joseph I feel is going to do in the 2023 NFL season. That's why I have us not only winning the division, but possibly even playing in the, uh, well, you know what? Again, this is a fan channel. I'm going to say it. I'm a fan of the, uh, of the Detroit Lions. So I'm going to say it. we have a chance to play in the Super Bowl. If everything lines up and we stay healthy, this team has enough firepower to make it to the Super Bowl. And, I don't care. Hey, y'all can at me. I don't care. Y'all want that smoke. Uh, hey, your boy want that smoke. So I know there's going to be channels making fun of me. I don't care. But hey, at the end of the day, 
I know this. Hey, if I'm wrong, I will be the first one to be on camera to let y'all know, hey, your boy was wrong. But your boy bleeds Honolulu blue and silver. I mean, come on now. You know, hey, what does that say? Success creates haters. So, come on now. Uh, man, Kirby Joseph, he's going to have a phenomenal year. I mean, he had four interceptions. So, I think Kirby could actually have 10 interceptions this year. I think he could finally see double digits, and he could see 100 tackles. I think he could see 100 tackles. Uh, like I said, 10 interceptions. Maybe uh, 15 or 20 pass the flex, a couple forced fumbles, a couple fumble recoveries. And I really think that, you know, he he puts his name on first team, on the first team defensive team, you know, all, all NFL, you know, things of that nature. So, you know, I, I definitely can see Kirby Joseph playing in many, many uh, Pro Bowls. And being an all pro. That's the one I care about. I don't really care about the Pro Bowl because Pro Bowl it's as good as tissue paper after taking a number two. That's is that's what to me a Pro Bowl is worth. But when your name is on a all pro, that means you balled out. What is what is Prime always say? If you ball, you get the call. And hey, Kirby Joseph. You were about to ball, so you should get that call. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What is your thoughts? What's your prediction for Kirby Joseph? Do you think he's going to break out? Do you think the Detroit Lions can make it to the Super Bowl in 2023? Let me know in the comment section below. We'd we'll love to hear your thoughts. With that being said, I will see you in the next video. One pride, baby. Peace. Hey, Kirby Joseph is just that guy.